What's up, guys? Sometimes in the middle of the night when I've got insomnia real bad, I'll think of the weirdest crap that just pops into my head, and I don't know why I think about it. But I just wanted to share some of the thoughts with y'all today of the, some of the stuff that I think about. But like the other night, I was thinking, how do towns and planets get their name? Was there a guy named Clark and a guy named Russell that were buddies, and they were in an area, and Clark said, I'm going to name this area Clarksville. And then Russell says, no, dude, you can't do that. I done named a town a few miles over Russellville after me. And Clark's like, well, we can have two Ville's, bro. And Russell's like, no, dude, there's only one Ville. Clark's like, no, bro, you're Russellville. I'm Clarksville. We're good. And then a, their other buddy comes up and says, you guys are idiots naming towns. I named a planet. And they're like, Bob, you named a planet Bob? He's like, no, I named it your anus. And they're like, well, why did you name it your anus? And he goes, I can name it anything I want. And they're like, listen, dude, we say that you're an anus, but you don't name a planet your anus. And he's like, well, I wasn't going to name it Bob. So then Russell and Clark are like, dude, we're going to quit saying you're an anus and we're going to start saying you're an idiot. Do you think that happens? Is that how the names come up with stuff? I don't know. That just kind of went in my head, and I got to thinking about names for stuff. But then I got to thinking about Indians. And you know how, like, in Oklahoma and stuff, these Indians will get together and have these big, huge events, and all the tourists come in, and they watch them and stuff. And you've usually got, like, the, the head Indian guy with the big headdress on. And he's like, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey. Do you think there's, like, a couple little Indian boys and his buddies? Like, Dude! That's the guy that sings that song. I've been telling you about. That's my favorite song. That's that guy. And the other little Indian boy's like, Yeah, bro, I know. That's the only song we got. That's the only guy that sings. That's all we've had for thousands of years. I know the song. Do you think they talk about stuff like that? I don't know. That, that popped into my head at 3 o'clock in the morning the other morning. I, and I don't know why. Then I got to thinking about the Twin Towers. What a, what a tragic event that was. What You know, just it, it shocked the entire nation, and it was such a tragedy. It just, it's heartbreaking if you think about all the lives lost. But, but then I got to thinking, there's got to be one guy that, he's kind of not so upset about it. You know, maybe the week before him and his wife were about to get a divorce, she was going to take all the money, the kids, the car, the house, the boat, He's 52 years old. He's starting all over. He's got to pay alimony. He's got to pay child support. He's got nothing. Then the phone rings. Yes, Jim, uh, sorry to tell you, but there's been a horrific accident at the Twin Towers. Your wife is, blah, blah, you know, whatever. He's like, oh, yeah, great. That's, uh, I mean, uh, oh, no, that's that's terrible. Thank you for calling me. Me and the kids are just going to be devastated. Clinton. He's like, I mean, it's a bad deal, right? But there's got to be somebody out there that that's was okay with it, right? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I just, I don't know. Crap, I was thinking about it 3 o'clock in the morning the other morning. Just, just popped into my head. Then I got to thinking about chicken litter being spread in the fields. We got a guy that was spreading chicken litter on a couple of fields over from our house the other day. And the next field over from that was some cattle. Do you think those cattle are sitting in that field, and then the farmer comes along in the next field and starts doing the chicken litter, and the cows are like, Bro! We're eating here! We're literally eating right here at this fence line where you're doing the chicken litter. It's like, come on, dude! We don't come to your house and drop a big old cow pie on your table while you and your family are eating. What the heck, dude? Why, why couldn't you have done that like three or four fields over? Why couldn't you have done this at night while we're sleeping? Why do you, why do you got to spread that crap while we're eating? You think cows think about that? I, I don't know. Like I said, it was three o'clock in the morning. That popped into my head. Just strange, strange. And then I got thinking about animals in slaughter trucks. You know, like like all the turkeys that are going to slaughter, that are just packed in those those turkey trucks. And, you know, the turkeys in the back... Are they making fun of the turkeys in the front? Like, check out those dummies up there losing all their feathers. They're up there getting that wind hitting them and feathers are going everywhere. Look at us back here. We ain't getting no wind at all. We're good. Wait till we go to where we're going. The people is going to make fun of them people. Like, look at those dumb old turkeys. They're idiots being up front. And then, of course, the other turkey's like, 
Bro. I don't think we're going where you think we're going. I don't think the people are going to be worried about those turkeys not having feathers. I I think you're kind of overthinking this whole we're going somewhere special thing. Do you think turkeys think about it? What, what, about, what about cows in a slaughter truck? Like they're driving along on this road and all of a sudden the driver hits the curb or he's swerving all over the place and these cows are like... You know, trying to, they're, they're, they're like, bro, our legs are this big around, our body's this big around, we're top heavy as hell as it is, and you're all over the freaking road. And then one cow's like, that's Tony, that's Tony up there driving, I bet he's been drinking again. You know, Tony wrecked on the interstate the other day and spread all those cows all over the interstate. That's freaking Tony. You, you think cows are back there freaking out because Tony's taking them to the slaughterhouse? I don't know, I was thinking about that the other night at 3 o'clock in the morning when I was awake. So just, just something weird. Then I got to thinking about a bird nest. We got this bird that's building a nest out here at our porch. And it is the god-awful, crappiest nest you've ever seen. This is definitely his first nest he's ever built. But do you think he built this nest and then invited like this hot chick bird over to his nest? And he's like all proud of his nest that he's built. And this chick bird's like on his nest. And she's like, dude, this place is a dump. All these little sticks are, are crappy. You got broken branches in here. What is that? What is that? Is that, a, is that a gum wrapper? You got a gum wrapper in your nest? Well, yeah, I'm just picking up stuff off the ground and putting it in my nest. I, I built it. No, dude, this is garbage. Listen, the last guy I dated was a marlin. He lives in a freaking mansion. You're bringing me to this crap? Do you think that happens? Do you think the other birds are making fun of that guy? Like, dude, look at all the hoes in his nest. Lay an egg in that. Good luck keeping it there. You, I don't know, man. That's just <clears throat> something I was thinking about at 3 o'clock in the morning. The other morning is that god dang bird in his nest. Then I got to thinking about a squirrel. When I was coming home, I saw a squirrel roadkill, and it was covered in flies. Do the do the flies up front eating the brain make flies a, make fun of the flies in the back that are eating the, the squirrels doo doo like, bro, get up here. There's tons of brain. It's everywhere. You ain't got to eat that squirrels doo doo. We got tons of brain up here, bro. There's even some heart left. Get up here and suck on some of that heart. Do you think they're telling him to get up there like, like he's the embarrassing fly like that dang. Bob's down there eating that squirrel doo-doo again. Bob, get up here. People are going to, you know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Three o'clock in the morning when you can't sleep. You think about some weird crap, don't you? That insomnia, that's a, that's a weird deal. But Anyway, just some stuff I was thinking about the other night at three o'clock in the morning when I couldn't sleep. I just thought I'd share with you guys. So maybe I'll have another round of it. I'm pretty whipped, though, so I'm going to go. Hopefully I can get me some sleep tonight. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.